Speaking of ano, uh, rental, no? so when it comes to renting out your unit, it's very viable and feasible. Because uh, aside from actually we're selling mga units, uh, we also manage mga clients din namin na nag-invest sa amin. So one of our testimonials uh, with one of our clients then mm. eh, Naparet natin yung unit niya, siguro mang 80 to 90 percent occupancy rate, right? right? Oh. In a month, kasi nagkaroon siya ng suki, so, ano, na guest, na tenant, oh. no? Parang in a month, parang nagnet siya ng 70, no? Oh. Sobrang saya niya. So that so, being yeah. said, when it comes to uh, rental aspect, it's yung rental yield niya is mataas. mataas. So correct. currently, as of this video recording, uh, yung mga our uh, rental rates is nagre-range ng uh, minimum na 2700 per uh -oh. night to 3000. 3, so depende pa sa kung gaano kaganda yung unit uh -oh, yung mo. Sa interior, mm -hmm. sa amenities. So kumbaga kanya-kanyang strategy mm -hmm. or pakulo din yung mga unit owners din. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to let's say step up your game, you can even ano parang fully book oh, your oh, unit. Tama. Kasi marami tayong mga ano, mga may mga clients ako na Literally, they have their free time din naman kasi to really ano, market their yes. unit alongside with us. So parang kami, ang approach namin is parallel effort. We market their unit, they market their, their units as well. So exactly. pag ganun, parang ano talaga, like 90% occupancy or sometimes 100% pa. Lalo na ngayon, yeah. it's summertime, di ba? Yeah. So ma mas tataas talaga yung uh, mm. occupancy rate nyo because syempre mainit so basically you will really uh, entertain more guests Correct. No? Uh -huh. at accommodate guests diba? dito sa Correct. Azure North. Uh -huh. Aside from that, of course, yung Kumbaga, we always um, talk about this, like kami mga, mm. ano, let's say, mga agents and brokers. Mm. Ang importance naman din talaga when it comes to investing in proper, on, kumbaga sa properties, is yung parang deeper um, meaning wherein parang kumbaga we forget na yung property, kumbaga we can use it as a collateral mm. in the long run if mm. we ma fully pay na natin yes. siya na parang kumbaga if in in the future kailangan natin ng funding for whatever ventures that we yes. we pursue for example so pwede mo siyang ano going collateral to get funding yes. or of course legacy then yun nga legacy para sa mga kumbaga magiging heirs mo uh -oh. heirs mo then kumbaga bonus part na lang lagi mm. is the rental yes which so, is kasi parang dalawa yung pinaka or major uh, reason why you're investing mm -hmm. eh. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are on the investment uh, aspect, side, so oh. investment side, no? una, yun nga, yung sa rental. Mm -hmm. Second is also for capital appreciation. appreciation. Kasi knowing, uh, we've seen kung uh, paano nag-start si Azure when it comes to its uh, price, di ba? Yeah. Na, yung introductory price niya, mga magkano kasi, ma'am God? It started mga 2.6, 2.5 no. to 2.6. Oh, uh, uh, roughly. Pero pag tinash mo pa. And then, naging parang 3.6, tapos nag-up ng 4.5. Uh, then, as we speak, currently, mm. Barbados is at around mga 6.7. Mm. It's monthly around 6, 35 per month. 35,000 per month. Mm. So, so yun, yung going up talaga yung prices. prices. So even if as we speak at even Barbados at uh, we say, as we speak na let's say 6.7. Still hmm. again, it's not too late to invest. Kung yeah. hindi for sure hindi pa yan yung parang ceiling price kasi Pampanga as a whole still developing. Correct. Azure as project itself still developing kasi kanina nabanggit hmm. natin, 'di ba, na may 5 hectares ka pa for development. Uh -oh. So parang you have, it's a long way to go. Pa. You have still room for ano, appreciation. appreciation. And then also, uh, that being said, when it comes to yeah, sa, uh, capital appreciation, mm -hmm. so kumbaga, um, for this one, like what you've mentioned, uh, you will live a legacy. Correct. Because this uh -huh. one is a perpetual owner, uh -huh. ownership, uh -huh. lifetime, uh -huh. lifetime. Siya. So you could pass from one generation to your next generation. Correct. Kasi uh, if you're going to by a condominium, making sure na yun nga, at least somehow perpetual ownership nga siya kasi uh -huh. lifetime nga. Not unlike kapag kasi sa inside clerk, 
clerks, no? Mm-hmm. Normally, kapag inside clerk kasi, mm-hmm. list hold lang siya. There's a period of uh, time mo lang magagamit yung condo and then subject yeah. for renewal pa siya. Mm-hmm. Diba? Right. So usually, diba, para kapag ganun, rights lang yung mm-hmm. binibili mo. Tapos kung for Alicia for 50 years, please selling yung project mm-hmm. for like 5 years. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 45 na lang when it's 30 Mm-mm. So, eh, ang culture talaga nating Pinoy, kumbaga, when we purchase something, parang it's... We, something we, worth it talaga. Worth it. Tapos talagang iniiwan siya sa, kumbaga, magiging, let's say, oh. anak, ganyan, or sa mga apo, ganyan. Kasi some of our clients... Yung eh, family ties, kasi din oh. ng, ano, Filipinos, ganun. Pero may na-encounter din tayong clients na... Uh, yung binib- bumibili sila because of... The uh, lifestyle. The lifestyle, and um, as well as... Uh, parang ina ano la uh, gift lang a donation to a their donation. <laughs> to their uh, family de ba so yeah. parang asarap yata mga receive ng gift ng condo de ba 